All right, guys, we're back. Another South Frank Spence out here at Tulloch with uh, Bobby, uh, Tim, and me. Tim, they're over there. Tim caught a nice smallie, and uh, I'm filling up with water for some reason. I'm about to two inches of water in my boat. So, that's where you gotta be casting. Maybe get lucky, get some small ones up shallow. Gotta turn real quick. Straighten me out. That kind of thing. There's a fish. There's one. A little smally. No. There right, we go, guys. Up. Small mouth. Up shallow on this rockier stuff. Little guys, of course, can be up shallow chasing the bait that's going around. Now they're going to come over this way. Look, they nice little colors on them. I'm on a good one, guys. Good smallie, I should say. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice smallie. It's not 220, but it's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a nice smallie. Oh, that destroys the other one. Bait first. It's not a bad one. I said I normally don't catch fish on these on these docks, but when I do, they're big, they're bigger fish. Like this right here. Yeah, as I catch a fish, that's what I was saying. I mean, he's not he's not much bigger. I mean, he's not as he's not as big as I was hoping he was going to be. But yeah, it's a small mouth. They're out here on this deeper stuff, and when they're out here deeper, they're darker. They're beautiful. They get their more bronzy color. You see, look at his belly. Blue. Yeah. That's why I like them, because they're blue. And the good thing about right here is if the owners come out. How you doing? All right, guys, we're on one. Little guy. Little smallie right here. I'm about to get, about to get waked by these. Mm, about to get waked real quick. I got to deal with the smallie now. That's no problem. He kept hitting it. He hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on, get out of there. Optimum baits right there, guys. Little smallies. There's a fish, guys. He came, came back and grabbed it. What is it? Smallie. Little smallie. Little smallie. They're, all, they're all getting fat on the bait that's swimming around. It's mine's. They're getting... Ooh, he has some big old nasty teeth on him for a little guy. A little smally. Optimum baits. But now, not so much. I barely come here and ever catch a fish off it. Maybe it's just me. Or maybe it's the fact that Tulloch is no longer what it used to be. There's a fish. Yep, there he is. Oh, it's a nice one, too. It's a nicer fish. He's a chunk. He may not be. A ch oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is a straight football. This is a straight football. Why is he like that? Because he's eating. He's gorging himself on bait. Right, look at that fish. Look at him. Straight up. He's a. He's a. He's, he's a straight up football. He's a football. I gotta get this. I gotta get a picture for this. Okay. Nope. 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 That guy. Oh my God. What did he eat? Well, Tim, it's a nice diet of um. Bluegill. No, I wouldn't say bluegill, but uh. Holy God. It's a nice diet of uh. Let me hold him. Oh my God, he's so freaking. He's fat. a. He's That's a, like a ton of shad or something like that. He's uh he's eating um all the bait and stuff that we see. Here you go, you're not caught on me anymore. Let him go. Yeah, no, that's straight that's straight food right there. Get that release. He's so freaking fat. Water feels nice. Some nice concrete pilings right here. Big I have one. Yep. Another nice smallie. 
Nope, oh, quick release, quick release, quick release. Perfect. I'll say. I was about to say, I want to bring my bait. Just started speed, speed reeling it back here, and I had him on. He picked up on the fall. Speed reeling it to get my bait over here to this concrete piling. Another one? No, I thought I had another one. It's a nice rock on this side. Maybe it came off that, or he just be back up in there. All right, guys, we're back. Just going to do a little fishing here. Caught a, I catch quite a bit of fish off this right here. They may not be, there might not be quantities, but they're normally better fish. So if we were to fish a night tournament or a tournament in general, I would definitely fish these rocks right here. Uh, what was I going to throw? I'd probably throw a fluke while I'm throwing right here. A swim bait out deeper, S waver up shallow, going, bringing it across the point, that kind of stuff. A crank bait, there's a fish. There he is. My reel sounds like crap. He's fighting hard. He's fighting hard. Oh, oh, little guy. Someone came up and tried to take a look at him. Oh, he chunked it down. Tim, just get over here and fish this. Come on, bro. Catch some fish. Huh? Oh, wait, this guy's peeing. He's peeing. He may have been on a bed. Or he's getting ready to spawn. Or he already have spawned and getting ready to spawn again. Hooks out. Fish is free. All right, guys. So here's another good point right here. As you guys see, I cast out a little bit deeper because I know from experience of fishing this lake and this spot, which is key to fishing a spot correctly, is to know it. And there's a fish already. Look at this. Nope. Had him. I had him. That's casting out deeper too. Uh, deeper fish. Maybe he could have been bigger. Who knows? If you guys weren't distracting me, probably could have caught him. But that's how deeper. And there, there's a the rock does come out. It's a very very crazy point. That's why I'm up here shallow right now so I can fish this downward. And of course the wind's going to... There's a fish. There's a better one. Oh yeah. No, he's just fighting harder. Take me right over the top of it. Oh, this is a nice fish. He's pulling drag. Hey Tim, go on my side and cast out that way. And just, oh, Tim, cast over here now, cast over here, cast over here by me. There's a fish following up by the fish. It's right, it's right, just cast over the cast over there, after uh, over my shoulder. He's, this is a nice smallie. Oh, that is a nice smallie. There you go. We'll go like this, and boom, just reel it up a little bit. And you're good. And there goes my bait. Just fish over my side, and just like, this side, just like. <laughs> Dude, he's it's, he's spitting up so much freaking bait. Almost uh, get out there oh, feeding. Like the size of the one I caught. Actually, mine was bigger. Mine was bigger. Nice than that, one. <sighs> nice fish right oh, there. Holy. Oh, dude, if you think that's good, mine was really good then, because mine was way bigger than that. Not to brag or anything, I'm just. Yeah. I didn't it's nice one though. He has fire. some. He's spitting up shad. Nice chunky guy. That's uh, he is maybe tournament quality. We're not 100% sure yet, but I'm on to my last optimum bait right quick, right here. Of course, he just came and freaking annihilated my bait, and I have nothing really else to to throw after the optimum. That's a nice smallie right there. Look at that. Tournament quality, we're getting there. Get that release. And there he goes. Dang it. He came back. Got him. Sitting down here, guys, drinking some water. This feels like a better fish, too. It does. No, maybe not. I don't know. He's running at me. I can't really tell. But I was sitting down drinking some water, and I felt him bite. So I uh, thought I'd go to record, and he dropped it. And I bounced it two times, and he came back and grabbed it. Might be the same fish. Might be, a little, might be uh, one in the school that's out here a little bit deeper but he's a better fish he's a nice one I want to get him in before he loses my bait though oh it's a nicey nice smallie right here in a 16 foot spinoo ditched the bass boat for the day oh, 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 oh my bad my bad my bad all right guys don't crucifix me on don't do that don't 
That's my bad for dropping the fish. Stop, 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 stop. I'm let you go. Look at that, guys. That's not, you know, I say it's a nice smallie, but that is, that's really a nice smallie. It's beautiful colors. He, you know, that's a nice size, you know, fish for just flipping docks and stuff here in Tolik. All right, guys, it's getting hot. We're, we're all pretty tired. They have a long paddle back. I have a long, uh, boring boat ride. Hopefully the trolling motor doesn't go out and knock on wood. That does not happen. So it's been a pretty good day for me. Caught who knows how many fish. I couldn't really keep track. Had to be over 10. It had to be 10, 15 fish, you know. Uh, most of them got on film, some I didn't, you know. The better fish, of course, got on film, except for the subtraction of, you know, catching those, some of those little guys. Uh, problem with the boats today, you know, a lot of boat traffic. My boat had a hole in it, so I'm running it backwards. Or, you know, the, you know how you would actually run a boat would be this. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing this more often now and actually make a mount that will go off to the side of it. I'll do something like that. So we have a long paddle back, and uh, it's been a pretty good day. Tim caught some nice ones. He caught, he probably caught the biggest fish of the day. I would say, yeah, he probably did. Yeah, uh, he definitely did. It's like two, two and a quarter. Might be his PB uh, smallmouth. Probably it is his PB smallmouth. Probably. So then we have Bobby over there who only caught one fish today. He was bluegill when he first got here. I don't know how he's not catching fish. He's throwing a little tiny grub. That's chartreuse. He should be just be slaying the fish, slaying the bluegill, that kind of stuff. Maybe he's just not making the right casts. But who knows? Shout out to Bobby. So we're gonna start doing that long trek back. And uh, stay tuned, guys, for another episode of the Fray Experience.